When I was initially trying to break into tech, I found myself struggling to get through the courses, the tutorials, generally just the learning that would get me started. I found myself usually opting to play games instead. And of course, when I started, I could find myself doing this for hours, despite losing and losing. And did I mention losing? It's almost an addiction. So something clicked. If I can make studying tech, which became data analytics for me, like gaming, then maybe studying will become easy. So what I did is that I applied the three main concepts of what I love about gaming to my studying. Games have clear objectives. They let you know this current mission that you're working on, the starting location and follow up locations for the mission, and sometimes even letting you know the difficulty of the mission itself. Whereas in comparison to when I initially tried to get into tech, I wasn't sure about the job that I actually wanted out of it, the associated languages and tools I'd need to learn and use. And to be honest, if I was even a perfect fit. So by honing in on having a clear objective, so knowing I wanted to get into data, I could gather up the right resources and components to streamline entry into the industry. So watching videos like this, hmm, he's kind of cool. Instead of struggling to learn languages or even components of languages that are completely irrelevant, feeling demotivated, and then just moving on to do something else. Games apply just enough pressure. You see, games, despite the fact that you keep on losing, make you feel and say things like, just one more try, I know I can do it, I can win. And then hours have gone by, and well, ultimately 10 hours later. And this is because they apply just enough pressure so that you feel challenged but engaged instead of feeling challenged and overwhelmed or demotivated. And this phenomenon is called flow state, or more simply called being in the zone. With learning data analytics, starting with the tools and languages might just be too much pressure. So to ensure I was in the zone when I initially started learning, I started with data fundamentals, then moved on to tools. So progressively increasing the difficulty as time went on, which ensured that the pressure was just right. And even with learning tools, starting with the easiest one being Excel, which kept me motivated, made learning easier and honestly more enjoyable. Games provide a sense of progression, so new levels, new obstacles, and best of all, new unlockable items. And as progression is closely linked to feeling accomplished, I apply this to my learning through using the Excel spreadsheet and daily reminders of my phone. I use the Excel spreadsheet as a daily check-in for my study sessions. So the date, what I practiced or learned, what I struggled with, evidence of the struggle itself, and when I was gonna revisit the topic that I struggled with alongside reminders on my phone to tell me to do the daily checking itself. I also followed this up by taking on certifications as this not only gave me a clear objective to work towards, but also acted as a sign of my progression or my expertise, almost like an in-game item. Now this made learning data way easier for myself and I think you should be able to do your wonders as well. But honestly, it can be applied to learning anything out there so your change will be televised.